In this video, I want to review some of the skills you'll need to um, create buildings for your cityscape project. And this is review, but a lot of the stuff um, was early in the semester, so I just want to review it and show you how the skills that you've already know will apply to this project you'll be working on. So follow along with me, and uh, we'll, this will be a good review for you. So make a cube. Make sure you're in display Guru shading lines. And um, right off the, the bat, I'm going to just name this building over in my object manager because you're going to end up with a whole bunch of pieces and parts with your, um, your buildings. So like, in fact, when you're building your city, you might want to give these names that mean make sense to you, building A, building B, whatever. Okay, so anyway, um, so I'm on Guru Shading Lines. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is increase the segments of X to 3, segments Y is 5, and segment Z is 5. Okay. Um, and, you know, depending on your design, you'll, you'll have different segments in yours, but this will work for this. Let's make it editable by hitting the uh, icon or hit the letter C on the keyboard, T for transform. Typically, buildings are more narrow um, in the front, and then they they elongate towards the back. So I'm going to like increase the, the height of this a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get something that looks similar to what we have here. And the from uh, 20,000 feet, that might look like a building. It's really boring though. I'm, what I want you guys to do is really add some design interest to your buildings and make them unique and also as aesthetically pleasing as possible. So let's add some uh, detail and more form to this thing. Um, go into uh, hit, go to the selection tool. Make sure that only select visible objects is enabled. Uh, that's probably what you for this whole project. You'll probably have that uh, enabled. Polygon mode. Let's select. Uh, there's, you know, five segments here. Let's select uh, this vertical row and this vertical row, and then let's go around to the side. I'm holding down the shift key so I can select all these. Whoop! <laughs> that wasn't good. Let's see there. Uh, okay then. Um, now, you're going to use extrusion a whole bunch with this. So remember the keyboard shortcut to get to the extrude tool is the letter D on the keyboard, or you can right click and find it here. But hit the letter D on the keyboard is the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to extrude these out a little bit by dragging to the right, dragging my mouse to the right. And that looks cool. And already that looks more interesting than what we had. So I think it'd be interesting to have the same kind of treatment in the front, but more refined, like uh, some thinner extrusions in the front. So uh, let me hit the spacebar and then deselect. Space, remember, spacebar goes to the selection tool. Now, um, okay, so I want a thin extrusion here and a thin extrusion there. What you're going to be using a whole lot with this, or, or to, besides extrusion, um, is the loop cut tool and the loop selection tool. So let's make some cuts with the loop cut tool. To get to the loop cut tool, the easiest way to do it is hit the letter K and then L for loop cut. Now I can, um, I want to make a, let me move my camera so we can see, I want you to see what we're doing here. So this is the front of the building. So I'm going to make a loop cut there, and up here, remember I, your slider, you get a readout here, and you can move the uh, the cut you just made, and what this 38-39% is, it's, it's measuring the distance between the two closest um, edges, you know, so this is you know, 40% or whatever. Um, so let me get this as close as I can here. And over here in the offset, in the attribute manager, I can set this to, you know, precise number. So I'm going to set it to 40. Okay, why did I do that? I'll show you why. Because then when I go to this one, on this, on the other side, and make a loop cut there, I can just set it to the same parameter. 
and now now they're even so that's cool so remember that you can set the offset of your loop cut in the attribute manager all right all right so i'm gonna go to my selection tool spacebar selection tool polygon mode select these new thingies that i just made here i wonder if i want to do all of them hmm for this exercise, you know, you could, hmm, I wonder what would look more interesting. Well, just for this exercise, let's just extrude them all. So D for extrusion tool, because of what I was thinking of, um, just extruding the lower half of these might be interesting and not going all the way to the top, but for what we're doing here, this is fine. Okay, so, Big buildings usually have some kind of entrance way, so let me hit the um, spacebar to go to my selection tool, deselect, and what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key, I'm going to select these three polygons in the front, grab the z-axis and just pull this out like that. Okay, and then this building would not win any awards uh, in architecture, but you know, it is what it is, as they say. Let me see if I want to pull this out or do I want to, no, I want to extrude it. So selecting that middle section, I think I'll hit the D key to extrude, and I think I'll extrude that out so it's even with the, uh, there so it's even there alrighty so spacebar deselect and later on if I wanted to I could um, well let's do it let's do loop cut again let's do K L and let me put a loop there now if I wanted to I could let me go to selection tool Whenever I get to where I'm putting on materials, I could put a different material color here. You know, like a, I could make this like a glass door, for example. You know, um, for this little exercise, I'm not going to do that. One thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the roof of your building or roofs, I guess. Um, the viewer, when you render this, or when a viewer looks at your models, um, the roofs are going to be prominent. Uh, so, spend some time to put some detail on there. Let me go to my selection tool, and I'm in polygon mode. So I'm going to select all of these um, polygons on the roof. I could have dissolved some of these lines, but I'm too. I didn't just didn't feel like it. All right, so um, now I'm going to extrude inner. That's another. You're going to use extrude inner and extrude a lot. So extrude inner, the keyboard shortcut. You can hit the right click and get to it, or you can hit the letter I on the keyboard. Click, hold, and drag to the left, and extrude this inner. And then I'm going to extrude downward. So D for extrude right click and uh, or pardon me click hold and drag to the left and then you make that that ledge okay so and that's just that little detail there makes a big difference now I'm building roofs there's a bunch of stuff up there like AC units and you know air ducts and, and all, all kind of things um, so Take the time to add some detail up here, and it's real simple uh, when we're at this this scale anyway. Make a cube. Um, let me uh, scale it down a whole bunch first. Okay, and then I'm going to make it editable. Model mode. Got the scale tool going. Let me move this up because I don't want to. I 
Remember E for move tool. So let me just seat this into my building here. So this is going to be my air conditioning unit and you know nothing to it. It was just a, a plain old uh, cube. You can add a lot more interest to this very very simply. Just make a cylinder and let me just scale this down a whole bunch. And I'm going to place my cylinder alongside my air conditioning unit housing here. So if you look at that, just that little two parametric objects, that, that makes a, a huge difference up here, okay? Um, let me, while I'm here, let me go to my uh, object manager. I'm going to call this AC unit. I'm going to make the cylinder a child of the AC unit. Then I'm going to copy my AC unit by holding down the command key, click, hold, and drag. And because big buildings will have like more than more stuff on here. Now there should be like, you know, exhaust, uh, you know, ventilation pipes, that kind of stuff. Um, I'll, I'll kind of leave that to you. Okay, the other thing that you're going to do um, is add windows. And you'll be applying different um, materials to this. You know, you'll you'll have like a you'll apply like a generic concrete or steel uh, material to this, and then you'll have windows, right? So the first thing you want to do is lay out where you want your windows using you know our friendly neighborhood loop cut tools. So K right and also the way to get another way to get the loop cut tools if you're in edge mode. Right click, whoops, I gotta select the object. Right click and then you can find it in this um, right here. But again hitting K and L is the easiest way to do it. Or M and L here. Alright so let me and I'm gonna like do this like real fast because I want this video I don't want this video to go on forever and ever so I'm gonna just make like maybe two or three rows of buildings so I'm gonna say my windows are gonna start here and that's gonna be one set of windows and hmm, let me so let me see I have one and let me move this one up. In fact, let me go to, I'm going to go to select loop selection because I want to adjust the, um, I want to adjust this one. Okay, so I got one, I got two, three, let me put another, so let me put another loop in here, K, L, put another loop in here. This is just for demonstration purposes, so let me see, I can make these windows, those windows, okay, cool. All right, so um, since I used the loop cut tool, I got these both on the same side, you know, hooray for me. Uh, let me think. I think I'm going to put the, the windows within these indentations here. Okay, so let me go to my selection tool, polygon selection, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and eventually someday I'm going to apply a, um, a glass texture to this. Alright, so here I am, here and here. Alright, now on purpose I didn't select these yet okay because I want to demonstrate something to you folks okay so like I, I made my selection after long hours of labor I want to make sure I save the selection so with that selected go to select set selection when I click set selection the set selection tag 
shows up on my object here. Select the, the new tag, the set selection tag, and um, the polygon selection tag, and then it's called polygon selection. Give it a name that makes sense to you, so I'm going to call it Windows, okay? Believe me, because uh, as this thing progresses, you're going to want to know what the heck, you know, where to apply materials and so on. So anyway, um, so I got window. Okay, cool. So then I continue to work on my model, blah, blah, blah. Let me deselect. So I'm working on my model and everything. And then I decide I want more windows. <clears throat> so let me uh, double click on my uh, polygon selection tag here. Okay, oh, that's right. That's where I had windows before. Now I'll say, well, I want, you know, this will be logical. I'll have to put a window here, a window there, there and there. That makes sense. And then go around to the other side. All right. So, okay, that, so that's cool. So now, oh, let me put some in the front. Well, for this demo, I'm not going to do that. So anyway, so the um, those are all selected now. Now, again, go to Select, Set Selection. Okay, and it like overwrites, it adds the, the new selections to your selection tag. So let me demonstrate here. Let me hit space, whoops, deselect. I work, 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 work. So like I want to see where my selection is. Double click on your um, selection, polygon selection tag. And there they are all saved. So again, I could like, if I want to add that as a window, I'll go to select, set selection and now that that is when I double click on my um, tag here that is uh, part of the selection as well so that's what you're going to be using the um, the loop cut oh I didn't show the loop selection okay the other thing is like if you want to or yeah I did show loop selection didn't I or didn't I I don't remember all right um, let's say I want to select this whole section here. Go to select, loop selection, and uh, lo and behold I can select the whole thing. So I can do whatever I want with it. And like, so you'll be using uh, select, loop selection, where the heck did it go? Alright. And you'll be using the loop cut tool which I demonstrated a whole bunch of times. You'll be extruding inner, extruding outer, the main thing is I want you to take your time to make some buildings with design interest and also like add some details up here like I, I could add like again like ex, um, like little chimneys uh, whatever um, exhaust fans that kind of stuff up here so uh, that is that oh and the other thing the other thing I went over was the set selection so those those tool sets are what you're going to be using for this so um, that's it so good luck